Oh, you're fine. Hi there, it's Tim, and I am excited today to share with you the Varla Pegasus, a twin 500 watt machine designed for commuting. And it's been moving this big guy around the city for the last couple of weeks. And I'm really delighted to share with you my thoughts on the Varla Pegasus. So the, uh, the Varla Pegasus has a really nice, uh, really rubberized top here. It's got a catch at the back here, so I'll be able to show you the folding down the actual uh, handle, uh, yeah, the handlebars. At the back, you're going to see a nice big mechanical brake, charging port over here, and at the front, another mechanical brake. Now, I've really liked at the very front here. I'm just going to rotate this. Uh, oh, that's actually something funny. Um, the light, which is at the very front, is not attached. So when I rotate the tire, it's not attached. I don't find that the big deal because most of the time I'm, um, you know, just moving along down the roads at night. And uh, this little light here is actually giving me plenty, plenty of room. Also at the back, we have a nice big brake light at the revert at the back. And that's been really, really nice as well. Come up to the top and I'll show you the handlebars. At the top, here is the power, and it's nice and quick. From the actual switch here, I can press this just for two seconds, and that will turn on, and you'll see on here, it'll turn on the light at the front. Up here, it says speed max, and if I press the down arrow for just two seconds, that will become a single motor scooter. So we're back up to dual motor by just pressing it down and holding that down letter for two seconds. So that's how you switch between single motor and dual motor. Also, the arrow key up here will get you from up to level two or level speed level three. Uh, so far, you can see I've done 53 kilometers. Um, and of course, you go back down again. Also up here, really nice sturdy handle grips and then thumb throttle to actually get you moving. Brakes, nicely positioned. I think I've actually missed the whole point, though. What I really wanted to show you guys was up, up top here. This is one of the best displays I've ever seen. It's absolutely a delight to see. You can see it in the night. You can see it in the daytime. This is full on sunshine. You can read it without any issue. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take the uh, Varla Pegasus on a flight around Victoria. Ugh. Come with me, check it out. Let me know what you think down below. I'll be stopping periodically just to basically share my thoughts. So one of the things I didn't tell you before is that this machine has two solid tires. They're quite wide, sort of a little bit like um, a little bit like the Wide Wheel Pro, I suppose. But I didn't like the Wide Wheel Pro. I didn't like the handling of the Wide Wheel Pro, and I actually really like this. Um, that coupled with the suspension, it's a smooth ride. I'm quite surprised by that. So I actually finding this thing quite the uh, quite a lot of fun, like like a little kid here with my legs kicking around. Um, gear one, it does about 20 kilometers an hour, which is perfect for like if you're in traffic or you're just learning how to ride a scooter. Gear two, it goes up to about 30 kilometers an hour, which is perfect for me at that speed. I find really comfortable going through the bike paths, and then gear three it goes a lot faster than that. Seems to me like with my body, I'm a big guy. Um, it looks like it's gonna go around 45 kilometers an hour, maybe a little bit more. So, so far so good. We're gonna keep going on this, uh, on this route, but uh, I'm really tickled by the scooter. So 
I also want to say a special thank you. If you've subscribed to this channel and left comments down below, I appreciate it very, very much. Varla have reached out to me to send me this scooter, and so a special thank you to Varla as well, but they wouldn't have done that if, um, you know, if I hadn't had such good response from the previous video. So thank you for subscribing. Your comments and your subscriptions mean the world to me. Thank you. So one of the interesting things I find about the Pegasus is the fact that I'm reaching for it as often as I do. I have a number of scooters I can choose from on a daily basis. I happen to use a U-scooter a lot when I go down to tennis, super light, boom, I'm off to the races. But if I've got to go any kind of distance, I've got a few scooters I can choose from. One of them happens to be the Varla Eagle One, it's sort of like the big brother to the, uh, the Pegasus. But I keep reaching for the Pegasus and I think that's really a telling sort of sign for me. And the reason why is that it's got solid tires and that means you know going through this gravel going off some bumps i don't have to worry about any flat tires so if you've got to get there solid tires just it's great peace of mind so i just wanted to share with it with you that um, i am reaching for this quite a bit more i did get a flat tire on the eagle one a, a couple of weeks ago or i guess almost a month ago now i haven't had one since but because that plays in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, you know what? I've got to get to referee practice. I've got to get to soccer practice. I've got to get to the store or whatever. I keep reaching for the solid tires. Anyway, we're going to keep going. One of the things about riding around an electric vehicle is they're super, super quiet. They're so quiet that you can actually just come right up on a herd of deer and they're not worried at all. Oh, you're fine. One little thing I wanted to share with you is that the steering is quite firm, which is super handy when you're doing any kind of speed at all. It just makes it so smooth. You're hardly putting any, any effort into the steering at all because the, uh, the steering is so firm. I really like that. Only time ever it gets a little bit irritating is when you're, uh, you know, at the end of the apartment trying to move it around. It's a little bit more, uh, more stiff, but uh, I love it for the one riding around. So anyway, just an observation. So what do I like? What don't I like? Let's start off with what I don't like. The only thing I don't like is that it's heavy, but that's like, that's scooters. Like they're not gonna be light, especially twin motor scooters. So I can't really complain about that. There is a funny little thing about this scooter and that is when you fold it down, I'm gonna ask Melissa to come a little bit closer. So the locking clasp here has this little bit of Velcro that is on. I'm not really sure what that's for. In fact, talking to one of the folks down at Ride the Glide, they're like, well, doesn't that push on this little button here if you tighten it up? So I'm probably doing this wrong. So if somebody else has figured out how this is supposed to work, let me know. But the, uh, this was really tight when it arrived, but once you've adjusted it, and that's, then it's perfectly fine. Um, something I don't like, no, but it's, it was just kind of an odd thing to get used to. I've never seen a clasp like that. And once it's locked down in place, it's nice and tight. And I've been putting this Velcro on as well for some reason. Again, I'm not really sure why. So what do I like? Well, for a big guy going up the hills around Victoria, this has been absolutely lovely. Twin motors gets me up the hills, no problem. I love the display, super easy to see, super easy to read tells me exactly how much mileage I can you know, expect to get out of it or um, you know, all, the, all the details, just super easy to read. The light in the evenings has been an absolutely lovely thing to have extra. I know I should probably have a light on my helmet. I just don't right now. If you can think of a light that I should put on my helmet, let me know, put those down in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I think this thing is absolutely solid. And I think for the price point, it's fantastic. So if you're a big guy like myself and you're looking for a scooter, 
you know, maybe give this a try. I think um, I think you'd be really happy with it. Um, I will show you the locking mechanism really fast as I wind up here. Uh, that little bit of Velcro, and boom. And I'll get Melissa to see. This basically locks down onto the little hook here. Just like that. And it's good to go. But it is, it's not temp, like this is heavy. I don't know what this is, six, 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 seven pounds, something like that. I'm gonna pull the specifications for the Varla Pegasus up on the screen now for you to take a look at. And I'm gonna ride home and make this video for you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. <laughs> love those subscriptions. I much appreciate your subscriptions. And uh, if you have any comments, I love reading all your comments. I actually reply to every single comment. And as always, wear a helmet. Very special thank you to Melissa for wearing the two cameras, double unicorn. That was awesome.